Hey guys, Box Scott's here from Monsoon, and today we're going to be having a look at the Push In Anti Vortex Trident. Now, if you're not familiar with that, the or what the Anti Vortex Tridents are, they come in two varieties. Uh, the TRP has a bolt on trident already installed when you buy it. Uh, what they actually do is as water uh, is spiraling down in the pump, uh, this is actually lets you mount a D5 directly to a tube reservoir in the modular reservoir system. Uh, what this does is keep a vortex from forming inside like that little spinning water tornado that you see that can draw air into the pump. Like I said this is the bolt-on variety and it already comes pre-mounted to the TRP. I'm just showing you that for a reference by the way. These are the push-in type. They come in a two-pack. Open them up. Take one out of the package. Take them both out. These also come in white. And again, the purpose is to, uh, specifically when you use them in the molded parts, uh, what we're going to do basically is it's just going to press down inside here. And then as water comes in one of the side ports, rather than start a spinning motion, it hits the trident and it just breaks that uh, impetus to create that vortex up. So they uh, eliminate or reduce the vortex inside a reservoir and they can also help you eliminate or reduce any kind of splashing noises if you're trying to do a really quiet build. Uh, they work with any of the molded end caps. They'll work with the fill drain port, the bulkhead connector or the coupler which is what we call this. Basically any of the molded parts you can uh, press one of the tridents in. <clears throat> they also come in molded white for the white end caps. Um, installation is pretty straightforward. If you're using it on a part that has a side ports, you're going to want to make sure you don't put it so that it's running across one of the ports and blocks it. You're going to want to put it basically just like that. If you look at it, one edge has a slight notch and the other edge is squared off. You want to use the notched edge first. Get that right here like this. It's basically just like it says it's pressed in. You just want to start it and then slowly work it down until it's where you want it. You can center it between the two or you can leave it higher. I'll probably just center it a little bit and put it down a little more. There it is. Uh, maybe a little more. If it gets to the point where it's a little tight, you can use something to tap it down in there a little bit. Just be careful not to damage it. Yeah, that's not a good idea. <laughs> Just about like that. That's all there is to it. Again, what happens is water comes in rather than getting a chance to start spinning up. It just hits that and it breaks the, the flow up. And it works the same way if you're doing one of the end caps. Same thing again, you would look for the slightly rounded corner that goes in first. You're going to want to make sure you don't put it so that it's going in front of a port. You'd set it in place. I don't want to push this one in because I'd have a hard time getting it out. Uh, basically that's how they work. That is the anti-vortex tridents, the push-in. Uh, that's pretty much all there is to them. Thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, you can contact me at this email address. You guys have a good weekend.